44 years later, the Arabian Gulf Cup is finally back in Iraq. This year's tournament is a monumental turning point for a country that has been torn apart by foreign invasions, armed violence, years of instability, and mass corruption. Up until 2022, and for security reasons, a decades-long FIFA ban on international football events in Iraq suppressed the country's involvement on the global stage. A brutal American-led invasion killed hundreds of thousands and left much of the infrastructure in ruins. This was soon followed by a power vacuum that paved the way for a battle for control among politicians. And things took a turn for the worse when the so-called Islamic State group established a caliphate in 2014. But still, in between all the chaos, the beautiful game remained the key element to unite a fractured Iraq. In 2007, Iraq was crowned the champion of the Asian Cup, and in that brief moment, war, division, and bloodshed was put on hold. Iraq as a country has come a long way, and although there are still major issues on the political front, Iraqis can at least now soak up a relatively peaceful period after decades of war. And now, for the first time in years, Iraq has finally opened its doors for football fans from around the region for this year's Arabian Gulf Cup. And for many, this moment signifies Iraq's return to the footballing world.